Cutting your pattern in strips. Choose File, New, then A4, OK. So then you're going to open the pattern that you're going to cut into strips and you select that and drag and drop it onto your page. Now I need to cut out the um, border around the pattern so I'm just going to use the square highlighting tool and copy and paste it into the um, layers palette. Oops, yes, I think, and then you use Control S to stretch it and um, duplicate the layer. Turn off the layer that you don't want to be using at the moment by turning the eye off. Create a new layer. And you can use the rectangular highlighting tool and press copy, command C and command V paste. It pastes it into a new layer. Don't forget to press the green box, the create a new layer in the left hand bottom corner of your palette. You can play around with the each pasted layer and moving it, um, they will they will be pasted on a completely new layer each time you press um, Command V. And then you just move them to create an alternative pattern. Actually, I didn't need to create a new layer at the beginning. You could use that to paint on. So it's moving the strips around with the Move tool. And then export as to save your image as a JPEG. Export. So I'm now going to use the Move tool to move the, the layers into an alternative pattern. To make a sort of arrow shape. Try and line up your pattern so that the um, amount you move it is roughly equal, up or down. and then you can export it as a JPEG and save that one as well. So now you have two different patterns with uh, just using one strip from your overall design. I'm now going to merge the uh, layers and then copy half of it so that's uh, using the rectangular selection tool Control C, Control V, paste, and then just move it across to get another idea. So you can either move it up or down, depending on what you'd like, to create a third pattern. You could even use the flip tool, and let's shift F and C what it looks like mirror image except you need to probably cut it so it lines up a little bit better the pattern doesn't quite line up in the center turn the um, other eye buttons on experiment with cutting as another strip from the original pattern paste it oh no I didn't really want to paste it on that layer Okay, let's just remove that. I'm going to shrink that. So you could make your you could make your layer narrower if you wanted to. And I don't really want it on that section. So I'm going to paste it on one of my other sections. There we go. And then I'm going to use one of the filters to kaleidoscope to see what effect that has on it. And you can also move the sliders in the kaleidoscope um, filter to create another pattern. It was quite effective.